we've got basically a real estate company that's got listings and we want to track I think we'll do if the phone was clicked if we click to call the phone if we click to email or if someone went to the contact page and filled out the contact form so I think those will be our conversions we've got AdWords set up we've got Google Tag Manager set up and here in Google Tag Manager let me back up this for a second so we'll set up the click to call conversion first in AdWords I went to tools conversions and I created a conversion right here named click to call no value for this one specifically every conversion will count we have a 30-day window it's a lead we want to include it in conversions that's the whole point and we'll use the first click model I think people will see this ad first before hearing about it somewhere else so I'm going to copy the code I'm just go into text for a second because I just want to copy this part which is our Google conversion ID and when I go into Google Tag Manager we'll do a new tag this will, this will be the click to call AdWords just so you know where I'm sending this click to call and we do AdWords conversion tracking conversion ID and then pasting from what uh, Google gave also let's see if we've got a label is this one right here so then grab that and paste that in. Those values should be the same. Okay, that should be good. And now what we want to do is trigger, click to call, and right now this trigger is actually looking at all link clicks, which we want to specify, but we need to find out what happens when we click this one. So we're going to essentially preview and debug, and then we'll sort of click around and see what distinguishes this click when someone clicks to call. So we're in preview and debug, Debug. I'm going to reload this page here. Gives us the uh, Google Tag Manager sort of console down here. This tag is not yet fired. If I click any link on the page at all, so including let's say the email link or something like that, that one fires right here because it's counting any link. What I want to know is the phone number one. What's different about this link right here? And I should say, in order to get all this information of click element, click ID, and all this, in Google Tag Manager, you do need to go to Variables, Configure, and make sure you've got all of these click ones selected. Is there a link one? I don't, think, I don't see other specific link ones. So we're probably good. Form we're going to work with later, so I'm actually going to turn those ones on too. We'll come back to that for the contact us one. Okay, but let's work on this one now. So where am I at? Oh yeah, that opened up the mail too. So what we want to know is here's the one where I, the click element included the telephone, click URL included telephone. That's probably good enough criteria. We want to see how is that different from clicking the email one. Not surprisingly, those are different there. So we could probably, this is probably enough information to go on right here. Sometimes I like to do a screenshot of this just in case I need to refer to it. So obviously this was the May email one. And this is the phone call one, in case I need to refer to those. Okay, so let's go into Google Tag Manager, let's leave the preview for a moment, and let's specify that this will not be all link clicks. This is going to be specific link clicks for the telephone and for we'll do email after that. So I need to go into my triggers, click to call trigger, just links. It will not be all links, it will only be some links. And here's where we look at, oops, got the mail pulled up from doing that. Uh, let's see, which one was this? Here's email, here's phone call. So click element includes tell, click URL includes tell, like we said. Let's try that. Let's see if that does it. And as long as we're at it here, why don't we do the email one as well so we can test them both in one go. Yep, so we've got click to call going. Let's also set up, you can see, click to email. This will not going to assign a value, that's okay. Account every conversion, that's fine. 30 day window. This is also a lead. Click on conversions, yes. Last click, I, I really, Last click sometimes makes sense, but I think in this case, first click, you know, people would not have heard of these properties without the AdWords, so I want to count in that sense. Let's copy this one. Let's go over to, do I have text up here still? Let's do the next one. 
So now we're gonna have a new conversion ID and a new label. So when I create this tag, um, sorry, I'm jumping all over here. We'll do, the, we'll do the other tag. So we'll do AdWords, click to email as well, make them both at once. And we can test them both. AdWords conversion tracking. Here's our conversion ID. Oh, it looks like that's that's actually the same for both of them. So it just you get one. Sorry, conversion ID. Is this the same? This one is not the same. This so the label then is different. That's how they tell them apart. Makes sense. And then we'll trigger that one with. I need to make a new trigger. This will be click to email, right? And we'll do just links, some links. Remind me again, we're looking at this one, right? Oh, sorry. Mail to, that could do qu click, click element includes mail to, Colin. So that should do it for that one. Email. So I think that's good then. So we will have two tags to test now. AdWords click to email, AdWords click to call. Let's go back to preview and debug here. Make sure I refresh that. And then when we go to the page, we'll reload it. So we see no tags fired in this page right now. We kind of click around a negative test. Click on some other link, nothing happens, that's good. I'm not doing on a Mac command click, PC control click, just to open a new tab. And when I do the phone number, that one works. Nice. And when I do the email, that one works as well. And it's trying to send an email here for me. Great. So those ones are working. The last one we want to do then is a form submission. Let's go back to Tag Manager here. I'm leave preview mode for now. And this one will be no tag. I think let's get that built in AdWords as well as long as we're at it. Click Save. Contact form submission, so we know what we're talking about. If you disagree with me on the first click thing, I'd be interested to know what you think. All right, now we've got our last conversion in here as well. So this part will be the same, and then we'll have a different label. Let's go ahead and create this. Yep, so we've got three conversions ready to start receiving in AdWords. About to start sending them here from Google Tag Manager. Contact form submission, good. So conversion ID again, and then here's a specific label, this last one, right? Good. That'll do it. Now we're going to have a different trigger. We're going to actually do contact submission. So notice you have a tag just firing a code, then we also have the trigger itself. So this one should be form submission. All forms might even be okay. I don't know if there's even multiple forms on this website. Let's give that a shot and I'll test it. So to test, preview debug, We've tested the other ones. I just want to test the form one now. Contact form submission. These ones worked before. How about when I go to contact, and again, if it's the same page, I need to refresh. Since I'm hopping to a new page, I think I'll be good. We've got all these options, these possible tags down here that have not fired on this page. And when I do, go in my info, so I'll do testing, testing words, version tracking, so I know what I'm up to. Good. 
boom, contact forms and mission fired. I like it. So these should all be working now. Great. So we'll just check this in a couple days and make sure once we've got our AdWords running that we're seeing these populate. Whoops, just realized I also need to publish my tags. We can leave preview and debug mode, and then we want to make those tags in live in Google Tag Manager just by publishing them. AdWords, Google Name, Edit AdWords, Conversions. That's fine. Now they should be sending to Google AdWords. And I'll also say, when we say we want to start seeing our conversions populate in here, a way we'll know that is under AdWords, Tools, Conversions there. Okay, so first these were, I think, were not verified, and now there's no reason, but we'll start seeing conversions in here, basically, in the tracking status once these are up and running. 